A UC Davis scientist took the first clarity measurement at Lake Tahoe in 1873. It was 108 feet. The university's Tahoe Environmental Research Center has been tracking Lake Tahoe's clarity since 1968. It was 98 feet that first year, a drop of 10 feet. Clarity was reduced to its low point in 1997 with a reading of just 64 feet. All right. Seki discs are lowered into Lake Tahoe for those visual clarity readings. On this day, June 16, 2017, the depth had declined from earlier in the year. Okay. There, I don't see it anymore. So we're at 15 meters. This is probably about our worst reading of the year, I would expect, somewhere in that range. Lower readings are typical in the summer months, with clarity peaking in the winter. The overall clarity at Tahoe is slowly improving. Jeff Schladau is the center's director. He says reductions in vehicle emissions and stormwater sediment concentrations are part of that recovery. He feels a shift to electric vehicles could significantly help. There are two primary nutrients that stimulate algal growth. There's nitrogen and phosphorus. So about 70% of the nitrogen that enters Lake Tahoe enters from the air. You know, that's primarily from us driving around. The Tahoe Regional Planning Agency is also working to help the lake's clarity. The current transportation plan calls for infrastructure and public transit improvements to help reduce vehicle use and find sediment from stormwater runoff. Randall White, Capital Public Radio News.